Welcome back everyone to another segment of the MCR. Mac and me coming at you. In this one, we are compelled to share our two cents on uh, Ilhan Omar and her removal from the Foreign Affairs Committee. Okay. And, uh, and you know, if that wasn't news enough, of course, we've got to throw in the meltdown of uh, two of her cohorts from the, the squad, uh, Rashida Tlaib and uh, AOC. But uh, right off the bat, I want to share an observation that I read somewhere. And, you know, the Democrats set the precedent here. They set the pre precedent when they kicked Marjorie Taylor Greene off of all committees, not just uh, a, a certain specified one. They wouldn't let Marjorie Taylor Greene on any committees. And the Republicans told them, you're setting, uh, you know, you're setting the precedent. And uh, should we win, which we barely did, which I have a comment on that, too. But uh, should we win, uh, you will rue the day, as, I, as I'll put it, you know, uh, thoughts so far, Mike? Well, this is typical of the Democrats to uh, do something like this and then have a fit when uh, the tables get turned. It's oh, typical. yeah. Yeah. And, you know, uh, while I don't exactly know what Rashida Tlaib said, she she pretty much uh, got on the floor and, and, and had her little tantrum about it, you know. Uh, uh, AOC was uh, beating the podium uh, when you see the video of her. You know, and of course, it's it's all, uh, you know, it's it's anti uh, anti it's anti woman of color is what they were. Espousing, that's what I know? was going to uh, speculate that that's, I mean, that's that's their first go to on just about anything. I mean, uh, to you know, it, it's almost like let, let's just wrap it all in, into one easy statement, you know, anti woman, anti color. So it's it's all about anti woman of color, you know, and blah, 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 you know. Uh, just more of the squad nonsense, which well, you just is went going to, on. You just want to date AOC. That's why. Uh, oh, that's yeah. why you're against her. Yeah. Well, you know, truth be told, she she she's not that bad looking. I'm into long, dark hair. So. <laughs> well, I don't date communists <laughs> of any sort. So plus, I'm well, I, 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 I would have to maintain my standards. Yes. So. A anyway, uh, you know, of course, uh, Ilhan Omar, let's let's just kind of do a, a quick review. She, uh, you know, she's from Somalia. She and her husband came to this country. She divorced her husband to marry her brother, to get her brother into the country. Then I hear she divorced her brother to marry her husband, which the, she would later cheat on with, with a, a staff member. So, uh you know that's that's what uh, Ilhan Omar, yeah, Ilhan Omar is all about. Yeah, you know? she's she's a she's a gamer. She games the system. Oh yeah, yeah. She knows how it uh, works. You know, uh, I have n maybe you have Mac, but in in, in my uh, search through the news reports, Ayanna Presley has not said much of anything unless you've seen it anywhere. I have not. Well, she cer certainly didn't go into a rage like. In fact, does Rashida Tlaib have any other setting other than a hateful rage? She looks like Hitler up there, for God's sake. Well. But I have and, not heard anything from Congresswoman Presley. Yeah. Uh, and she, and I, I don't know if she still is, but I think at one point she was sporting a bald head. Yes. So, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, he, here's, here's where, in, in, in review... Uh, observation and slash comment back uh, and we're going to go back to uh, last November when the red wave did not occur. And we've kind of mentioned this once already, but I, re I remember hearing Charlie Kirk on the uh, on the radio and he was making the comment. And, and at the time, I was kind of wondering if he was just trying to salvage something politically. <laughs> But Charlie Kirk made the comment. He goes, he goes, you know, we didn't get a red wave, but but we do have the majority. And he goes and and he says, if we had had a red wave and I don't know if he used the term MAGA crowd, but I, I'm going to use the term MAGA crowd because it applies to that political group, we'll say.
but Charlie Kirk made the comment that that had there been a red wave, the MAGA crowd would not have had the uh, political sway that they do with the slimmer majority that 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 currently exists. And what he was meaning is, is and let's go back to them, uh, all that uh, political battle there was with uh, Speaker McCarthy, you know, and and how much you want to make a bet. I, I'll 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 bet a Taco Bell lunch on this, but uh, uh, how much you want to make a bet that this uh, Rashida Tlaib was something on the table for them to finally agree to uh, McCarthy being Speaker of the House? You know, yeah, I suspect that McCarthy would have ducked this issue otherwise. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, because I, I still see him, and I said it at the time when we talked about it that he's weak. Uh, he he's a typical rhino. He. Uh, <laughs> He just he just gives in to these people because to avoid any kind of conflict or the or being called a racist or a homophobe or a, a misogynist, which I'm sure they said about him. Which is why we were not in favor of this guy. But I, you know, I, him becoming Speaker of the House was probably inevitable. Truth be known, yes. but it was it was fortunate how the MAGA crew, uh, group or crowd or whatever was able to strong arm all this and yes. uh well i'll tell you what uh i think charlie kirk in hindsight i think charlie kirk was on to something when he said that on the radio back in november you know yeah well it is it is the kind of leadership we need uh to well when when in when in i'll, I'll uh, quote uh admiral chester nimitz when in command command and oh, the yeah. republican party seems to have a major problem with commanding when they're in command Exactly, exactly. So uh, uh, that's that's kind of it for this one. Uh, uh, a little bit of a little bit of well, a little bit, a whole lot of political uh, or correction, a, a whole lot of uh, poetic justice here, you know, as far as uh, uh, them removing Ilhan Omar. And you know what? They're not even removing her from all committees like they did, uh, like the Democrats did to MTG. You know, they're just yeah. taking her from. Uh, the Foreign Affairs Committee, you know, so we're not she, even doing given like her what they did. Given anti-Semitism, she doesn't belong on that. Yeah, uh, and and oh, and then and then she goes on CNN and says, "I didn't mean what I said," you know. Uh, Oops. Uh, that, that's bovine excrement, as I like to say. Yeah. You know, is that another statement I need to retire? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. He's he's uh, swearing. Well, that's political speech, uh, which yes. is another segment, maybe Poli a politically correct speech, you know. All right. That's all I got. You got anything else, Mac? Nope, that's it for me. All right. That's a wrap on this one. Uh, we'll catch you all in the next segment. As always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me. <laughs>